Mike then noted the disparity in rubberized asphalt adoption between New Zealand and Australia and discussed the strategies that could support greater use in New Zealand. Yeah, I guess I guess the, the interesting thing for me, um, I mean, a lot, a lot, lots of things are very similar between Australia and New Zealand, and then lots are quite different. And um, I guess the, the the rubber and roads one is is one of these where where there's quite a bit of uptake in the Australian market, um, and and very low uptake in the New Zealand market, almost no uptake in the New Zealand market. But it should be relatively easy for us to work through and understand what the differences are. And um, I, I think it's one of these things where it's getting all the stakeholders together to work out why we can do it and why we can't do it, what are the, the barriers or the things that we need to consider um, to, to try and come up with a solution because uh, there's some fantastic benefits to it that we've heard about, um, but also understand these differences in specifications and technologies in, um, in different countries that have an impact on it. So um, I guess it's really talking to the the asphalt manufacturers, the contractors, the specifiers, it's its all of these stakeholders coming together and looking at is, is there a solution there and, um, and, and how can we get it going. 